When you come to Siena, you might be surprised to find that image that you see there behind me, the she-wolf with the twins Romulus and Remus. An image which you usually find in the city of Rome. So what's it doing here in Siena? Well, back in the 14th century when Siena was one of Europe's most powerful and wealthy city-states, it began looking back into its own history hoping to find some trace back to ancient Rome, arguably the greatest of all civilizations. Well, when they could not find the evidence that they were looking for, they simply made it up. A document which traced the city's ancestry all the way back, not to Romulus, the legendary founder of Rome, but to his defunct brother, Remus. And the story goes that before Remus was killed, he had fathered two sons, one of whom was named Aeschius, the other named Senus. And before their nasty homicidal uncle Romulus could kill them as well, the two boys fled the Aventine Hill in Rome. Aeschius headed south, but Senus instead headed north and settled down in an area that reminded him very much of home, an area consisting of three hills. And remember, Rome, of course, was built up on seven. But being so young, Senus was vulnerable to any threat or enemy. So the gods intervened and protected him by sending down a white cloud during the day, which made him invisible to any threat, and a black cloud at night, until young Senus came of age and eventually founded the city that we call Siena today. And in fact, the black and white colors today still very much a part of Siena's identity because they make up the so-called Balzana the black and white shield, which indeed is the flag of the city of Siena.